I'm with Justin Smith. Thank you, Justin, for joining me. He was one of the participants in CNN's focus group during and after the vice presidential debate. He says that when given the option to choose between Trump, Clinton, or third party, more of the focus group said they would vote third party than for Clinton and Trump. But then he says CNN manipulated the results by redoing the segment without including the option to choose a third party, but giving the focus group only the option to choose undecided instead. Right. So before the debate, they asked us kind of some baseline questions. You know, what do you think of the different candidates? I mean, on a scale from one to zero, what do you think of Trump? What do you think of Hillary? What do you think of the VP nominees? Um, one of the questions they asked was, if you had to vote today, we realize all of you are undecided, but if you had to vote today, who would you vote for? And the options they gave us were Trump, Hillary, uh, Jill Stein, and Gary Johnson. Um, and I kind of got their attention and said, hey, I noticed you don't have Daryl Castle and you don't have Evan McMullen up there. Um, what if I was leaning towards one of them? And they said, no, these are just the forward polling. You have to pick one of these. I said, okay. So I, I voted for Gary Johnson. Um, and then we went through the debate. Um, once we got through the debate afterwards, they told us they were going to record some stuff that they might use the next day. Um, sometime between 4 a.m. and 9 a.m. They weren't sure if they were going to use it. They might. They just kind of wanted to record it. So they started asking us, you know, did your um, opinion change as a result of this debate? And if so, who are you going to vote for? Uh, by show of hands, how many of you are going to vote for Hillary Clinton? And five people raised their hands. They said, okay, by show of hands, how many of you are going to vote for Trump? And two people to my right raised their hands. And they kind of looked confused for a minute paused and said, okay, well, how many of you would vote third party? And 12 of us raised their hand. Now, I want to qualify 12 because 12 is my best guess. And I think that's a conservative number because I saw a lot of hands going up. I was seated very center of the second row. There were people behind me that I couldn't see their hand. I could see movement. Um, it could be slightly more, could be slightly less. And then um, they said, okay, interesting. Uh, we're going to reshoot that. And they asked the same set of questions, except they changed the third one. And they said, you know, okay, how many are going to vote for Clinton? Five. How many for Trump? Two. And then they changed to how many of you are still undecided? So then they said, okay, we're going to do another one just like that. And myself and the lady to my right, not ex exactly to my right, but one seat over, said, um, we both said, wait, are you going to ask the third party question again? And they they said, um, they just kind of ignored us. They didn't say anything. They said, we're going to ask the same questions we just asked. And they did it a third time. And they said, how many people uh, were for Hillary? And there were five. How many people for Trump? There were two. And they said, how many people undecided? Now, at this point, some people started to raise their hand for undecided because they realized it was the only vote they were going to get other than Trump and Hillary. And I believe that they were very decided it wasn't going to be one of the two big party candidates. So they said, OK, perfect. That's what we're looking for. We're going to go live in a little bit and ask the same question. Let's take a, a tally here. I want to ask everyone in the group, after watching this debate, who in this group will now vote for the clinton Kane ticket come November? Raise your hand. All right. So as you see, we have five people who say they will vote for clinton Kane. Let's Trump, Pence, raise your hand if you'll vote for them come November. Two people and those still undecided, still have no idea who you're going to vote for, raise your hand. All right, Wolf, as you see, a majority here in this room at the University of Richmond, still undecided. And you'll notice in that live shot, I didn't raise my hand. They said, how many people for Hillary? Five. How many people for Trump? Two. How many people are still undecided? And, and I kept my hands down because I was waiting for the third party question. If they weren't going to answer, ask it, I wasn't going to answer because that's the way I wanted to vote. It's what they asked us the first time. and I wasn't going to be manipulated by them changing the question until they got what they were looking for. All right. Um, I just want to make sure I got the story right. You were given an option to choose between Trump, Pence, Clinton, Kane, or a third party in a pre-debate poll that was just done with a remote. Right, and, and I don't know the results of that particular yeah. vote because everyone was doing it with a remote, so I have no mm -hmm. idea how people vote. Yeah, but yeah and, we, we okay. had four options. And then post-debate, you were given an option between Clinton, Kane, Trump, Pence, or third party, and more people chose third party than Clinton or Trump. And But after that first time, they changed it to undecided as the third option rather than a third party. Absolutely. And they, after doing it two other times without the third party option, 
in only giving the other option besides Trump and Clinton as undecided, people realized there was no longer an option to choose third party. And so they did go ahead and choose undecided. Right. The third, the third and fourth time people started realizing that because after the second time, myself and one other lady, we objected. We said, what about the third party option? They kind of ignored us, and that's when people figured, well, I guess we're just not going to have that option now. So they, they all okay. started voting undecided. And you made an important point that you can be undecided and third party at the same time. You can be undecided between which third party candidate. It was, it was, so so by, exactly. Yeah, so by choosing undecided, that didn't mean that they were no longer third party, means, right. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Thanks so much, Justin. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Peace. <laughs> Justin's story has not been publicly verified or disputed by any other member of the focus group. And CNN did not respond to requests for comments. Check out my interview with uh, Margaret Flowers, uh, who is running for Senate in Maryland for the Green Party. She'll be on the ballot this November. And also check out my video where I caught PBS censoring Green Party candidate, presidential candidate Jill Stein. The original Facebook upload was removed after it got 100,000 views, but Facebook removed it. A month later, I've still had no response from Facebook about that. So please check that one out too. I'm Matt Orfila. Thanks for watching.